to another journal, and another, and another. And now Sue's so dream is to cure cancer. So just watching that one documentary changed my life. And that was when I knew I had to do something to help this man and his team. Then I had to figure out how. So when driving down the driveway to our house, my mum suggested writing a book. As soon as those words hit the ear, I knew that was what I was going to do. I knew this was something that I was going to persist at and continue. So we could become up on the stage to help share the story of how this book came to life. Thank you, Hannah, for inviting me to your book launch. It's your book. Um, invited me to speak at the, the gifted school um, program at Patoni Central School. And um, it was not difficult to say yes because I enjoy interacting with young people. It's just refreshing to interact with young people. And um, then uh, Hala contacted me and said, um, I want to write a book uh, about you. And, um, to, and have the proceeds uh, put towards to give it back to your research institute project. And um, my first reaction was, of course, that is great, but you be bound. Um, <laughs> so I found all the excuses to say no. I told Hannah that I was too young and am still too young to have a book written about me. <laughs> In fact, I told her that uh, just a month before that, there were two adult authors who had asked if they would write a biography about me, and I turned them down for the same reason. And I was hoping that Hannah would just do that, and I thought she did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I turned up to the school in June last year, and Hannah introduced me to her fellow students. And there was the lady from Broman. I wasn't quite sure who Broman was. I thought she was a teacher. <laughs> and of course, Joe. Um, and as I read this book about plastic surgery, uh -huh. and about what it does for people and what we hope to do in the future. And there were the usual questions from these young people. Uh, some of them are quite difficult to answer, of course, with fresh questions and refreshing questions. And then Hannah posed this question again. Um, about writing this book about me. And um, then I felt, um, I felt that um, there were all the eyes in the room looking at me. <laughs> I could feel. And then I turned around and I saw Roman smiling, <laughs> and Joe smiling, and I felt I was set up. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I turned around and there was Hannah in front of me on the front row, <laughs> looking straight to my eyes, and I just couldn't say no, and you know, to stay here and let me leave. Um, but I was quick. I, um, I said, that, um, really, I'm too young to have a book written about me. Um, I really need to check with my family. And I was very chuffed with myself because I really thought I got myself out of that. <laughs> And I took this home and um, to my family and my host and I said, look, this is really fantastic. Right? And I was really hoping to say, look, you're too young to have a book written about you and it's not a good idea. But it wasn't to be the case. And she said that I'm going to be ridiculous. It's only just a children's book. <laughs> and I was dismayed because my support disappeared. <laughs> and I had to come and find out for and so this is how it all started. And, uh, you know, um, it's um, been great to know you, Anna. You are a, an amazing human being. And uh, it is not just a book, really. It is the journey that you travel on and the journey that you include all those people around you. And you convince them that this really is worth supporting. And, um, and I'm part, I'm, Please to be part of your story, and 
He tells your story and he leaves your journey. I'm pleased to be part of your journey. And I thank you for including me. And I want to thank you and uh, the core group and your wider group uh, for the support of the Giddy's Legendary Research Institute. For I'm very touched by it and the uh, chairman Evans, who's here. Um, we're very touched by it, um, by your support and and the belief that this is worthwhile. And um, our vision is that um, that tomorrow will be a better day if we carry on um, the research that we're doing, uh, that tomorrow will be uh, a day less suffering for people as we carry on. So thank you for sharing with us this vision. And I'm pleased to be part of your journey and pleased to be here as your goodwill.